Taco Bell, take Yeah, do you still have the uh, truff fries? Yes, we do. All right, yeah, I'll have an order of the truff nacho fries. And then, do you guys have the, the new Cherry Bliss Breeze? Yes. All right, and I'll take a, uh, give me a small one of those, and that should be it. I think she said it's happy hour. Which, oh yeah, I think at like two to five, there's this happy hour, because I think the freeze only came to a buck. That is gonna be a plus. That already, well, plus I love cherry. Who doesn't? And Taco Bell does really good on their freezes. I automatically get a receipt. Well, that's really good. Even though there's times where I get my food and I don't get one. We shall see. All right. Sounds good. Excellent, you too, thanks. All right, I got all the truff goods all the time. Let's give this a taste. Hey, welcome to another incredible, edible, wonderful, yummy, mm, dynamite um, episode, I guess. Let's just get into it of Zach and Dad. Thanks for being with us today. We are the place for food reviews, food challenges, and today, good old Taco Bell freeze and another item kind of fun. So if you enjoy what you see here, which we please hope you do, help us out for a few things. Please like, subscribe, and click on that bell for notifications and make sure you hit the pull down that pull down menu will come down make sure you hit the all when you hit the all that means you'll never miss one of our incredible episodes that we here have here on zach and dad so anyway it is great to have you here today um a couple things we probably unfortunately we uh you we we usually try to do two videos a week this is probably going to be the only video you're going to have this week um we're just getting into a real busy time uh zach has had and a lot of it really has to do with Zach, but um, Zach had, this is Zach's last week of soccer. Ba -ba -da -da. That's awesome. But then he goes into basketball. <laughs> so, and that's really what he wanted. He really wanted basketball, but this, his school wasn't sure if they were going to have a team this year. It does look like they're going to get a team, but then they, did, then they didn't know if they were going to get a coach. It does look like now they're going to have a coach. So everything is coming together. Um, so basketball really is really what he wanted. If he knew there was going to be a basketball team, he probably wouldn't have done soccer. But he did soccer not knowing about basketball, but now he's going to, well, of course, now he's going to go right into soccer, into basketball. So soccer's done, and then basketball starts. So he had practice, game, there's another game tomorrow. So busy week with that. I've been busy with uh, meetings at night uh, as well. So I definitely did want to at least get one in. I know I really wanted to get Zach in on one this week. I was like, ooh, I really want to get Zach in on one at least this week. But again, it just it wasn't in the cards. And again, like I say, you're lucky. Um, you know, you're lucky if you get Zach. I'm lucky if I see Zach. So that's kind of how it is. But anyway, again, we want to keep doing these again uh, because we we do love to do food reviews. We still want to do challenges and some good, fun entertainment so that you can make the best choice in today's dollars of what you need to buy. And we want to help you out with that. So what are we doing today? Good question. Um, we're doing a couple items here. Um, let's first do the one that probably will melt first. Um, but there's definitely a smell in this car for the second one. But for the first one, Taco Bell adds a new limited time freeze. I might even have a picture up on it. If not, this is what it looks like. It is looks really nice and looks cherry red. Hence, it is cherry. Uh, Taco Bell adds a new limited time freeze to the menu with the introduction of the new Cherry Bliss Freeze. Um, Taco Bell, I would say probably once a quarter at least, comes out with a new freeze. Um, I really like their freezes. I actually think Taco Bell, even though it's taco, um, I really think they have some of the best freezes uh, out there. Uh, my Mine is the pineapple one. Uh, we'll put up a card for that. We did the pineapple one uh, probably a year or so ago. That was my, I think it was like a pineapple whip one. It was like my favorite freeze that I've ever had. And uh, I really love pineapple and Taco Bell hit a home run with that. It was really good. Um, but this one is their new Cherry Bliss Freeze. The Cherry Bliss Freeze is a sweet cherry flavored frozen beverage with a swirl. Ooh, I like this with a swirl of raspberry, blackberry and strawberry flavors. That's probably what you're seeing. You're seeing the red here 
and then a little darker at the bottom. That's probably the mix of the other ones. The new Freeze joins Taco Bell's current lineup of frozen beverages, including their signature Mountain Dew Baja Blast Freeze, their Mango Freeze, and their Wild Cherry. Oh, they've done a while. I thought they did a cherry one before. I was thinking, is this really new or is it returning? But then the Wild Cherry Freeze freeze. If we've done those ones, which I think I've done, eh, I think we've done actually almost every one of these. Uh, we'll put cards up sporadically through the video uh, of those freezes that we've done as well. Go check those out. Uh, see if you like them, uh, you know, before you buy it or see if you like the review before you buy it and uh, let us know. You can find the Cherry Bliss Freeze at participating Taco Bell locations, pretty much everyone, uh, of course, for a limited time. So let's get into this. Again, as you can see, it has a really great cherry consistency on top and at the bottom. I think that's where it's a little darker and that I'm assuming is where you're going to have uh, your combination of those other berries in there. Um, so let's kind of get into it and see what's up. Hopefully you guys are having a good week. Uh, it is fall, definitely here in Wisconsin. <laughs> Uh, the week started very cold in the 30s, a little bit of snow, to tell you the truth, which is way too early for me, but it's Wisconsin. Uh, there's really only two seasons we have here in Wisconsin. It's either winter or construction. Um, so, of course, it's winter. But now, at the end of the week, you're probably seeing this on Friday. Yeah, yeah you're probably seeing this on Friday. Um, and by this weekend should be near 70, if not in the 70s. So that's kind of how October is. It's, it doesn't make up its mind. It's kind of in between the summer and the fall. So it goes up, down, up, down, up, down. And then November and December and really January and February, even March. And then in April, it kind of starts their ascend up. That's Wisconsin. Anyway. All right. Let's get into this. Looks really good. I'm going to open the top. Have you noticed on these taco, maybe it's just me, but have you noticed on these Taco Bell cups, uh, whether it be soda or freeze, that they have made these, these, these tops or like, they have them like so, they're like locked in. They are like locked in. It is so hard to open these. It's like they're, they're really tight, which is good. I like, cause you know, if you're in a car and you spill it, um, you know, other fast food places, the cap is easy to come off where we make, where with Taco Bell, it's pretty hard. But if I can, wow, it is. There we go. Did you hear how hard that opened? Anyway, there's a a close-up look on that. Hopefully, you can get a, a nice look on that. And, um, ooh, nice cherry taste. No, uh, cherry taste. Nice cherry smell to it. I like that cherry smell. Yeah, really. Cherry is probably one of my favorite fruits. Cherry is actually not bad for you, and actually cherry juice has some real good benefits to it, but I love, I love almost anything cherry, like pineapple, like orange, but cherry just has that really good taste to it. So anyway, I'm going to mix it up because I really want to get the bottom stuff up here too, so that when I give you a, a good review of it, that I had a good, we had a good mix of it. Ah, if I had a spoon or something heavier, it'd be easier. That's kind of getting up there. Maybe I'll start from there. All right, here we go. Chip it, dip it. Oh, you remember? Remember what I said when I close my eyes or roll my eyes up? It's incredible. It, it, again, Taco Bell has not disappointed with this freeze either. Oh, my goodness. So, so good. So good. You definitely get the, the, the cherry forward, but then you're getting that nice blend of raspberry, blackberry, and strawberry kind of all comes into a symphony of flavors right in here. And that's what I, I think it's a great explanation. A symphony of flavors. You know, you got your violins, your cellos, you got them all separate when they come together. It just sounds beautiful in the orchestra. This is your symphony of flavors that even though cherry would be great by itself, actually any one of these flavors would probably be great by itself. But then you combine these instruments to something even better. And that's what you get with this cherry bliss freeze. Um, I would go out and get it. I, I, I Seriously, run, don't walk. This is really, really good. Nah, you know, pineapple one is probably still my favorite. Pineapple and cherry. I wonder how that would be. That might be really good, too. I would really appreciate that. All right, let's give this one a flavor rating, then we'll go to the next product. All right, so let's do this one. Wow. <coughs> My, it seems like I cough now in every review. Boy, I'm just getting so choked up about these things. You know, when I think of food, I can't help but cry. You know what I mean? Anyway, let's give this one a flavor rating. Here we go. Three, two, one, 
10. I'm giving this a 10. I rarely ever get a 10. I rarely ever give out a 10. That is usually for the gods. You know what 10 is? It's divine. That means it's actually like manna from heaven. Uh, coming down in the form of a food. So this one's like, it's, it's like divine. It's like, so this one's like divine, like manna coming from heaven that is landing down as a freeze. So this is 10. I would go out and get it. Uh, again, the pineapple one maybe is as good as this, but I would definitely go out and get it, especially since it's limited time. And so before it goes, make sure you get that. All right. How much was that? That's a good question. Oh yeah, that's right. I think I said it in the, in the intro. I think I got it during their, during their happy hour or happy hours, which is I think a two to five or something. So uh, it was only a buck. So definitely, definitely it even confirms that this is even a 10. Look at the size and look at that. Whoa, it's so awesome. Even things stick to it. That is how awesome this is. But anyway, um, so no, this is really good. Plus for a buck, oh, come on. You cannot get any better than that. That's a good size for a buck. Uh, so that's definitely a 10. All right, the next product I have, which I've heard, I've actually seen quite a few food reviewers do this one already. And it definitely does have a distinct smell. Uh, what this one is very distinct, almost like where, uh, matter of fact, to me, it's a kind of a turn off, actually. I don't like that smell. All right. What this one is, also, I don't know, have you ever had, here's another one. Talk about the caps on the, on the beverages. These are hard to open, too. Um, I think I saw a meme one time where it was like, um, if you ever are trying to be on a diet and you, you know, you, you, I forgot how it goes, but if you're on a diet and you really want to try it in the middle of the night, you want to sneak downstairs and it gets something to eat. So no one knows, put it in these things. Everyone will know you're down there having a snack when you shouldn't because they're pretty loud. Actually, I don't think this one will be loud when it opens, but a lot of these containers, I think you know what I mean, are pretty loud when they open. So anyway, what this item is, is wow, it's so strong. Wow, that's so strong. Um, what this is, in all of its in all of its glory, it really does actually look, really look good though. It says, following a successful, watch, I hope I don't drop, you know me, almost every episode, I drop some food. We'll see what happens here. Following a successful test at uh, in California area last year, Taco Bell today, which was this was probably a, a, a week or so ago. Anyway, today announces the nationwide launch of their new loaded truff nacho fries. The nacho fries are back, by the way. Zach loves their nacho fries. They are back. I don't know why they just don't stay. It's, it seems like they go, leave a couple months. Or it's like they come, leave a couple months, uh, then come back, leave a couple months, come back. Why don't they just keep them? I mean, it comes so often now, they might as well just keep them. Give me a thumbs up if you agree. Anyway, um, because of that, they're also bringing on loaded trough nacho fries alongside the brand's returning fan favorite, like I just said, uh, starting October 13th. So not too long ago. Available for just two weeks, though. So you better, better hurry up. Or while supplies last, mine still did have them. So you're, you're going to want to hurry up and give these a try. Uh, new loaded trough nacho fries feature spicy trough uh, I'll put a picture up uh, of um, what truff sauce is, what truff hot sauce is. Matter of fact, I'm also going to put a card up. Um, uh, Zach and I did try uh, a truff sauce. If you remember that, it was from, uh, we opened up some fan mail from Ryan in California. Great guy. Great guy. Uh, Ryan in California, one of our biggest supporters, uh, been with us for a long time. Um, he, he, matter of fact, he watches this on a big screen TV. I love it. He watches this from this huge screen TV. Love it. I think it's awesome. Ryan, you are awesome. We love you. Anyway, big supporter. Anyway, he sent us this care package from California. Um, and again, I'll put the card up there of that, uh, opening box. Um, but anyway, in there, so I don't know if Truff comes from California. Um, but anyway, it came with Truff hot sauce. So we gave that a try. Well, anyway, that's what this is. Um, so, and again, I'll put a picture of it, uh, what it does look like, but it features spicy truff sauce atop a generous bed of boldly seasoned fries. They're nacho fries topped with grilled marinara steak, uh, marinated steak, shredded cheddar cheese, fresh diced tomatoes, warm nacho cheese. Oh, good. I was afraid they were going to put the cold stuff on there and reduced fat. That's just funny. So we have all this fattening stuff on here, but now we got the reduced fat sour cream. So we're good to go. Uh, all for a suggested price of 450. 
Now that's was that was what Chew Boom said. Again, Chew Boom is what us fooders. Uh, it's a website, chewboom.com, and it gives you all the um, the foods, the drinks, the candies that are coming out before they hit the shelves. So a lot of us food reviewers, how do we know when things are coming out? Chew Boom. Chew Boom is our fooder bible. Anyway, these truff fries, yeah, four forty nine. That's what these came out to. Actually, they're pretty loaded. And again, with inflation, I don't know what's deals and what's not. The sauce itself features Truff's ultra unique blend. It is very ultra unique, very unique taste. Blend of real black truffles, mushrooms, by the way, not the dessert truffles. Um, black truffles, which I really do like the, the dessert truffles. Uh, and red uh, chili peppers with added creaminess to complement the cheesiness of Taco Bell's menu. You can also add Truff now to any item via the Taco Bell app for a buck. Now, I don't know if that's, I don't know if Truff is here to stay. I know these aren't, I believe these aren't here to stay, but I don't know if the Truff hot sauce is here to stay. Anyway, you really smell the Truff. You really, matter of fact, it's, I'm not a really big, I'm actually not a really big fan of the smell of Truff, to tell you the truth. Um, I don't even remember if I even really like the hot sauce. I'm not sure. I don't even remember. It was so long ago. But anyway, you can definitely tell that unique Truff uh, you know, um, mushroom, mushroom kind of smell to it, but mushrooms and steak kind of go with that is steak, right? I want to make sure. Um, yeah, <clears throat> I do like steak and mushrooms. So maybe that is why this is a good combo. So anyway, as you can see, it does look really nice, really nice loaded, really nice and beautiful. Um, let me get a good amount of everything that looks really good. So let's chip it and dip it. Mm. I must say the taste is much better than the smell. Some people maybe really like that smell. Kind of that mushroom kind of earthy kind of smell. I'm not a big fan of that smell. But the taste, really the test, like I say, the test is in the taste. And the taste outweighs the smell pretty good. I'm going to get one more in there. There actually is a good, I'll admit it, some people have said, so on top, I think this is the trough. That the the reddish kind of the red color, I think that is the truff. And then yeah, then you get your normal cheese and then the sour cream on there. It is really loaded. Uh the steak is really the steak is really good. The cheese is I really like steak. So I mean for $4.49 for steak, that's not bad. And the steak is actually pretty good here at Taco Bell. The tomatoes are good. I like that cheese. The, it's just a great combo. I'm gonna go in for another one. Let's give it a food review. And the nacho fries never, never disappoint. Nacho fries are really great. Again, I don't know why they go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, the fork is stuck on there. I was going to say, I just kind of want to go for a fry and see what's up with that. I'm not going to give this one a spice rating. The ghost pepper whopper from Burger King was spicier. That one had more of a kick. But this can I can definitely tell. Now without if the if they didn't have any cheese or any um sour cream on it, I think this would even be hotter because I can tell definitely that uh there is a little bit of a kick to it, which is great. It's a great kick though. It's not like overpowering. It's just the it's just the right kick that you need to really pull this off well. And because of truff, you think of truff and hot sauce, so you want to have a little kick to it. And it does. Very impressed by this. Again, the nacho fries, home run, cheese, great, sour uh, steak, all of it is really good. I would go out and get it again. Only, I'll, oh yeah, I didn't, yeah, I did, yeah, this, yeah, this is definitely a limited time. It's only two weeks. Um, so really hurry up, get it. They might have the truff sauce, uh, even beyond that, that you can put on tacos and stuff like that. But if you want it on these nacho fries, hurry up and get it. It's really good. So, before we give it a flavor rating, let me give you questions as we always do. That's what our channel is about. Give us a thumbs up if you've tried either of these items, uh, the Cherry Bliss or the um, the Truff Fries. Would you try these? Are you a mushroom fan? Let me know if you like mushrooms. I like I do like mushrooms. I like mushrooms on burgers. I like mushrooms on pizza. I really like it on pizza. Uh, so let us know. Where do you like your mushrooms? Do you like mushrooms? And where where do you like your mushrooms? 
I'd like to know. Um, and uh, Or would you try these if you haven't? And what is your go-to, uh, uh, when it comes to your sauces at Taco Bell, this one was a trough. It also had sour cream. What is your favorite sauce that you like on your food at Taco Bell? What is your favorite topic? Like, well, sauce, like, is it the hot sauce, the mild sauce? Is it sour cream? What is your favorite topping uh, to put on a Taco Bell item? And what is your favorite freeze? Again, I said mine before. I mean, this was good, but I really love the pineapple. Pineapple was, but I gave this a 10. So apparently I think it, I think it's as good as the pineapple one, even though the pineapple one is even a little better. And then are you on team nacho fries? Now, when it comes to your, like your extras at Taco Bell, would you, are you on team nacho fries? Are you on team cinnamon twists? Or are you on team chips and those, and that nacho, nacho cheese cup? So if you had a choice, you have your tacos and then what would you want with your tacos? The nacho fries, cinnamon twists, or chip and nacho cheese? I'd like to know that one. I'm not a big fan of their, of their cinnamon crisps. I'll be honest. I'm not a big fan of that. I like to, if a box has it, I like to substitute that with a, um, with the, with the chips and the nacho cheese. I really like that. Um, nacho fries, really good. Not my favorite, but they're, but they're really good. They're a good thing. Okay. Um, all right. Let's give this one a flavor rating. Again, this would be the, oh no, I just crunched that up, but this would be the loaded truff, uh, the loaded, uh, truff fries here from Taco Bell. So this would be three, two, one, eight. Eight. That's a solid eight. Eight is really good in my book. Uh, not put that. So, but is there better stuff? Yes. Does Taco Bell have better stuff? Yes. But this is really a great addition. You got your nacho fries. You've amped up now your nacho fries with a little addition. What I like about this is very unique. I like the combo or the collab with Taco Bell and Truff. A lot of us fooders tease Taco Bell that basically what happens is you have these like 10 ingredients. And what Taco Bell does is they just kind of shuffle them around, just shuffle these 10 ingredients around in different orders in different places and call it a new item. So it's like you have your basic 10, but how do we rearrange it will depend on what the new item is. This is brand new, brand new. That's why I love this collaboration because Truff is not normally on their menu. So you're adding a brand. So this is really, really brand new. So when you're adding this Truff, you're really making it new. And I really appreciate that from Taco Bell. Way to go, Taco Bell. Um represent. All right. Um, thank you guys for being with us today. We really do appreciate that. Hopefully you're having a great fall. Make it a great day. And I really do appreciate that. Let me know what's going on. Again, we're social media. Um, again, and I brought this up before. What are you doing for Halloween? Uh, what are you guys doing for Halloween this year? What are you dressing up as? Um, are you decorating your house? Again, it's like the second biggest holiday now of the year. What are you doing to make Halloween fun this year? And again, if you're, if you like us on Facebook, show me your costume, show me your house decorated, show me the, uh, the Halloween treats that you're making this year. I, that's what social media is. You get to know more about me, dad, and then I get to know more about you. Uh, that's what social media is. Social media, social talk. And we love that. So thanks for being with us today. Please like, comment, subscribe. Like us on those Facebooks. We do know there's a thousand other channels uh, just like us that do some wonderful, incredible food reviews. But thanks for taking just a little bit, little bit of your YouTube experience with a son and a father or just today with a father who loves to do what he loves to do so you can make a better choice of the dollars that you have on your budget. So we do thank you very much. And as we always end, we'll see you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I always like to... I always like to flip something. This is what I'm going to flip today. I just went, I just went out and bought some W2. Um, I thought, you know what? Nothing says, uh, I was looking for something that would really go with some trough. And I was told that WD-40 goes with trough. No, 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 no. I'm joking. Joking. Please do not try that. Do, I shouldn't even have said that. Do not try that. Do not say that I even told, don't. Do not try it. It's, no, 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 no. You do this not, mm -mm, I, Maybe I should even edit that out. Do not try this on food, please. I always, you know, it, it should be common sense, but you got to tell there's someone out there that might, no, no, do not have this with them. Do not consume this. This is just to be used on things. So anyway, as we always end, <laughs> I can be silly sometimes. As we always end, we'll see you on the flippity flop. All right, guys, take care. God bless. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye now.